Now, I'm about to tell you all something that's super controversial. That we're Christians? No, they already know that. The thing I'm about to tell you I legitimately think will blow your minds and may even make it hard for you to eat your dinner. Not your dessert though, dessert is safe. What I'm about to say may change your mind about me and I just want you all to know, I still like you all very much. All right. <sighs> Guys, I'm black. <gasps> Wait, I already knew that. I'm black too. I know, I know, it's hard to believe. I am so sorry I betrayed your trust. Who would have thought that my avatar reflected my actual skin tone? The absolute audacity of it all. <laughs> I can't keep it up anymore. Hello everyone, my name's Ayla Bell, and yes, I'm black. And I have opinions about the new Ariel and the live action Little Mermaid coming soon. But before I specifically talk about that, I need to discuss my personal special circumstances regarding things. You see, I'm part of what I feel is a small minority of black people who don't care about being represented. Yep, I don't care about it one bit. I understand why people want to be represented and I know it means a lot to a lot of people, but I personally never cared. In fact, I never put much emphasis on my race in general. Of course, this wasn't without the lack of people trying to get me to care more. I've been given black dolls as a child, pushed to make black friends, and pushed to have opinions that seeing black people represented as the best thing since sliced bread. And I know this came from a place of wanting me to be more in tune with my culture. I just never fed into it that passionately. Not as a child and not as an adult. I like dolls, shows, and friends of all races. And don't get me wrong, I'm not calling these people who pushed me racist. They just wanted me to be more in tune with my culture, which is fair enough. And they were perfectly fine with me positively associating with not black things. Heck, they did so as well, but the point still stands. I fully acknowledge everything that my race has gone through. All of the injustices, all of the discrimination, all of the collective trauma has led to a widespread sense of unity and inclusivism within much of the black community. I get that. However, I want my world to be more expansive than just black. I can get a lot out of life if I don't limit myself to that one bubble. I'm black, yes, but being black is not my identity. I'm just someone who happens to be black. But I'm more than that. I'm a Christian, a sister, a daughter, a friend, a cousin, a niece, a granddaughter, an artist, an anime and cartoon lover, a YouTuber, a gamer, a baker, and there's more to my personality than just black. In fact, black isn't a personality. Once again, it just happens to be what skin tone I was born with. Heck, I'm not even black, I'm brown, but you understand my gist. As little emphasis as I personally put into my race, it takes a lot for something to racially grind my gears. But our current society? That grinds my gears. The overemphasis on Hollywood and the rest of society in general to lift up black people and other minorities is very annoying. They're acting like we're wounded animals who need to be pampered. They're lifting us up by putting others down. Similarly to how Hollywood is putting down men by elevating women, I don't like this trend. Yes, the way we have been treated throughout history is unfair and we absolutely deserve to be cast in more parts and movies and given better jobs. But all of this should be on merit, not our skin color. And sure, a good chunk of these opportunities are given because of merit, but the agenda of lifting up minorities is still peeking through, and thus, all of this casting and hiring feels tainted and insincere. You never know why someone was chosen nowadays, and that's sad. Ideally, we live in a world where everyone is treated equally and people get the roles or jobs they deserve regardless of their skin color or what have you. The current system is only going to have a bad outcome. Why? Because once again, us minorities are being singled out. Perhaps it's in our favor, but don't you feel that there would be some resentment about this? People who feel like they were cheated out of an opportunity all because they aren't a minority? I don't know, I just feel like this will all come to a head soon when all of this was completely unnecessary. 
bringing things back to movies, I just want to watch a fun show or a fun movie. I don't care who the actors are. I just want to be entertained. That's why I don't care about representation. Having said that, let me explain my issues with the new Ariel, but before that, if you're enjoying this video, then represent your best self by hitting the like button and subscribe for more reviews, rants, and rewrites. And if you're still watching, put a trident or bubbles emoji in the comments. Thank you! So let me get this out of the way. Holly Bailey looks and especially sounds really good from that Little Mermaid teaser. Her vocals low-key give off Jodie Benson vibes. In general, I have no doubt that the music for this movie will be fantastic. At least. I'm also part of a crowd who really doesn't care for the Disney live-action remakes. I mean, I'd be more on board if they were remaking the really old Disney properties that were heavily forgotten, lacked the resources at the time to fully tell its story, or had significant plot holes. But no, Disney is mostly targeting the stories that didn't need to be remade because they're already loved and perfectly fine. And yes, I do take the 2019 Lion King movie personally, considering the 1994 Lion King is my favorite movie of all time. Most of these remakes don't need to happen, but they're gonna happen anyway, so I'd prefer that they be done right. But at the very least, even if they aren't done right, we can always go back to the originals. The originals won't stop existing, so despite my disdain for the 2019 Lion King, the original is still around for me to enjoy. But here's the thing about these live-action remakes. For the most part, the actors and actresses for the main characters have mostly remained as the same or similar race or ethnicity as the cartoon counterpart. And even if not in race or ethnicity, there's at least a physical resemblance to some degree. I personally prefer this. When I see a cartoon and if someone wants to reimagine that character into live action for an official thing, I want that person to look reasonably similar to their cartoon counterpart. If they don't, it bothers me. Now, with the exception of the Disney movies that specifically represent a certain culture and thus race swapping is a big no-no, you can technically take some liberties on the race of some characters. The Blue Fairy in Pinocchio, the Fairy Godmother in Cinderella, the Sea Witch in The Little Mermaid. Most of the fictional creatures and entities, really. And heck, depending on how much of a stickler you are for fairy tales to reflect the culture from whence they came, you could make Cinderella, Rapunzel, Thumbelina, the princess from the Frog Prince, any race. The stories of Cinderella, Rapunzel, and many similar fairy tales have been adapted and illustrated so many times throughout history that despite Disney giving these characters more official and recognizable looks, they can really look like anything. However, I draw the line in a couple spots. Spot number one is when a story gives a physical description of a character, the physical description of which is legit important to the character, and then an adaptation goes against that. I'm looking at you, the upcoming Disney live-action Snow White. But the biggest line is when a character has a unique name, look, and identity, and then that is completely erased. Cinderella, Rapunzel, Thumbelina, Little Red Riding Hood, etc. don't really have their own specific look and identity because of how many times they have been adapted. However, characters like Tiana, Elsa, Jasmine, and yes, Ariel, don't have that same luxury. Let me be clear, the princess from The Frog Prince, the Snow Queen, the princess from Aladdin, and the Little Mermaid are not the same characters as those Disney girls. The original princesses can look like whatever, but Tiana must look like Tiana, Elsa must look like Elsa, and Ariel must look like Ariel, because they are unique original characters with new names and identities. This is Ariel. This is not Ariel. I don't care that the main character is black. As people have said so often in the comments, mermaids can be any color since they are fictional creatures. And you know what? That's correct. But you want to know my biggest problem with the new Ariel? Her name. Name her literally anything else and I'd be 100% fine with her. Maybe this is some alternate timeline. I don't care, just give her a different name. By naming this mermaid Ariel, you're trying to erase this Ariel. Someone out there said that this Ariel isn't good enough how she is. I'm not even the biggest Ariel fan, but I'm offended for her. And if anyone is curious as to why I don't care for Ariel, I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, Ariel isn't just the Little Mermaid, she's Ariel. 
She's unique. She has her own personality and traits. She's different from the other Little Mermaids told in other adaptations. If someone were to make a movie about your life, would you want someone who played you to look like you or to look completely different from you? But Allo, you can't compare a fictional character to a real person. The rules are completely different. I think that's true to some degree, but I don't know. It just feels weird to me to completely change how someone looks when representing them in a visual medium. Mostly when that person has a unique existence and isn't just another version of a specific character. I know I said earlier that being black isn't my identity, but it is still a part of who I am. So, it feels weird to change that fundamental element of a unique character as well. In the Disney parks, what is Ariel going to look like after this new movie comes out? Will she look like the original Ariel or the new one? One of them is going to get priority and I have no idea which one that will be. Just name this new mermaid something else and the problem goes away. See? This is what I was getting at earlier. Executives in Hollywood and other places are putting down other races to lift up other minorities. Sure, it's cool for black people to be represented, but what about little white red-haired girls? Why can't they be represented? Why is it okay to erase someone that looks like them in favor of the quote-unquote oppressed minorities? Nothing can really be done about the live-action Little Mermaid. It's coming out. It's happening. It is what it is. And I truly want people to stop bullying Holly Bailey. She's just doing her job and is having fun in the role and slaying it with her voice. In truth, I don't want anyone to be bullied. Mistakes were made. Let's just learn from them and move on. How do we move on? Well, for one, let's stop remaking things and replacing the beloved movies. The best way to represent any person or culture is to make a unique story that was meant for them, not giving them someone else's leftovers as a sad apology. Guys, do not settle for used valentines. But Aloe, what do valentines have to do with, well, any of this? I'm referencing this Peanuts comic. Pause it if you want to read it. But basically, Charlie Brown was feeling sad that he didn't get any valentines one year. He made his sadness quite known. A month later, Violet comes by and says she feels guilty for not giving him a valentine and then gives him a used one. Schroeder, one of the best characters, defends Charlie Brown, shaming Violet for not giving Charlie Brown any respect and only giving him a valentine to make herself feel better. But in the end, Charlie Brown accepts the valentine because he's desperate. Do not be Charlie Brown. Whoever you are out there, Whoever wants to be represented, don't take someone's leftovers or used items. You deserve something as unique as you. There are fairy tales all around the world from each culture that has yet to be adapted. There are libraries full of books and stories that have yet to be adapted. Heck, there are ideas that have yet to even be put to paper. This is how you can get represented the right way, the respectful way by being a part of something that has yet to have its own cinematic or visual identity, by being a part of something new. In the end, I definitely just want to see new stories being adapted or just new ideas in general, and I want as many people to be involved as possible, but done in the most sincere way. But what do you guys think? How do you feel about the new Ariel? How do you feel about the Disney remakes? How do you feel about race swapping? Which fairy tale do you want to see adapted onto the big screen that's never been done before? Tell me about it. Comment below and let's get this conversation started. And remember, I'm the Artistic Alabelle, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and subscribe for more reviews, rants, and rewrites. But as for now, that's all there is. There isn't any more.